is this thing on? Okay. look for you all and I was really inspired by my necklace and my nails as well so I thought I'd do this really dramatic turquoise look and seeing as though I have been experimenting with colors I have been loving it so much so if you guys want to know how I got this dramatic turquoise look then make sure you keep on watching and I will show you how and don't forget to like subscribe comment and share and yeah everything that I'm wearing will be listed in the description box as always bye so everyone, the nail polish that I wore was the OPI nail polish in teal. Moving on to eyes, I'm using my Lane Low Pro Langwear Paint Pot as my eyeshadow base and I'm just applying that using my concealer brush to help my eyeshadow last all day long. And I got a slight cold so I'm really sorry for my voiceover. Then taking my Frankie Rose um, powder, I'm just going to apply that generously on top of the base to help my eyeshadows blend together really well. Then taking this Makeup Revolution palette, I'm picking up this light taupe colour and working that into my crease as a transition shade. And I'm using my MAC 224 blending brush which is like my favourite blending brush. And you guys know how much I go on about this blending brush but I really do love it. Then I took this um, darker brown shade from the same palette and I started working that into the outer corners of my eyes and just defining the crease a bit more using the same blending brush <laughs> oh my god you know what? I always get a cold like always so I decided to zoom you guys in because I thought I was too far back so you guys can see the eyeshadows better. Then taking my Motu's Blackout Eyeshadow, which is a really black eyeshadow, I'm applying that using a separate clean blending brush onto the outer corners of my eyes. And I'm gonna really pack that color on because I want it to be quite intense. And I start off really messy at first, and then I go ahead and neaten up the whole look. And doesn't matter if you get any fallout, we can wipe that away, which is why I love doing my eyes first and then my base because everything just looks so neat and I'm just adding so much then I took a separate clean blending brush and I started blending out all the harsh edges um, because I do still want the look to be very soft and all blended well together Then taking this e.l.f. cream eyeliner in the shade Teal Tease. It doesn't actually look teal, it looks more turquoise to me and it's so creamy and so pigmented. So this stuff is really good. I'm just applying that on to my eyelid where I had left it bare. And I'm not dragging it too far out where my black eyeshadow is because we do want the black eyeshadow to stand out as well. So I'm stopping where I had done the black eyeshadow. Then later on I will take a blending brush and we're going to do kind of blend all of the transition shade and yeah, make it look all nice. And then here I am just taking a blending brush and just um, diffusing out those harsh edges and blending it all in together really really well. And then I decided to add more black because I thought I had lost some intensity and yeah just go back and forth and blend and add more colour if you want, it, it really is up to you. Then taking my Rimmel Glam Ice Professional Liquid Liner, I'm just drawing a fairly thick wing and just elongating it as well. And I start off from the centre of my lid and then I drag across and then I start moving to the tear duct area. I don't know, I just find it really really easy that way and that's how I learned to do like a perfect winged liner. I also decided to tight line with this and now I'm just trying to 
trying to what am I doing so I'm just doing the other wing like now <laughs> then taking my Marc Jacobs what the hell uh, mascara I'm applying about two coats of this onto my top lashes ready for some falsies and the falsies I wore were the velour lashes by Skido and they're so beautiful and fluttery and then I took a skin therapy wipe and I started wiping away all the fallout and just really cleaning up the edges For foundation I'm using my L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt foundation in the shade medium dark and this is the first time I'm using it in this tutorial and I gotta say I did really really like it very it's not too thick and it's not too thin it's just the right amount of coverage and it makes my skin look very radiant and healthy very dewy and I like it um, this will be my go-to everyday foundation and I'm just using my uh, damp beauty blender to work that into my skin and as you can see the application is flawless like I really really like this foundation then taking my MAC um, concealer in the shade NC20 I'm using my top brush to kind of apply that under my eyes in triangular shapes and yeah I thought it was too light but do you know what I was like I'm just gonna go for it and just go for a very highlighted and contour look and I had so much fun doing it as well also applied some down the bridge of my nose and also on my chin <laughs> then taking my damp beauty blender again I'm just gonna bounce that into my skin really really well I don't like it to be too highlighted so yes oh sniffles I absolutely love using the pointed side of the beauty blender like my makeup was looking so neat that day then taking my Frankie Rose cosmetics powder again I'm just kind of uh, using that on my forehead to kill all that shine that I had just slightly not too much and also using it under my eyes to prevent my concealer from creasing and moving and budging and just setting it <laughs> oh my god I can be so funny sometimes then taking my Bahama Mama powder um, contour powder I'm using my 109 Zoeva Luxe face paintbrush and sculpting out my cheeks and I've been using this a lot recently I really really love it and I'm also contouring down the sides of my nose not too much just slightly then taking my sleep blusher in the shade suede and I'm just applying that generously onto the apples of my cheeks I've got like a tissue on one hand and I'm just holding it next to my nose because I just oh my god I don't even know and I started singing there I don't even know what song I was listening to moving on to highlighter I'm using the Gerard Cosmetics highlighter in the shade Audrey and just applied that on the highest points of my cheeks very nice highlight I really love this highlight it's so gold and I just love it and onto the bridge of my nose and onto my chin as well and on the tops of my eyebrows <laughs> then finishing off the eyes I'm just taking that first transition shade that I used at the beginning and just running that across my lash line then I took some of the turquoise teal cream eyeliner and also pat that on at the bottom of my lash line and then I took my feline coil eye pencil from MAC and then I just started applying this on my waterline but halfway only 
and then applied some mascara about two coats of mascara because this is a very dramatic look <laughs> then taking my opv matte lip in the shade oh my god i forgot the shade but i will leave it in the description box below it's a beautiful brown auburn shade and i love their liquid lipsticks they're very opaque and it was sent to me on that day so i was just testing it out and i loved it However, with this look, it looked too dark, so I took my Gerard Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the shade Serenity and I just popped that on the top to kind of tone down the shade and it, it came out like perfect, like the shade, I loved it. Then taking this Hot Makeup USA um, eyeshadow in the shade Golden Sweetness and just applied that onto the tear duct area to make my eyes pal. And that is a completed look. I really hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in my channel next time. Bye.